Welcome to Photoshop in 5. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn any boring footage into this or even this with generative fill in Photoshop. Hi, my name is Julius. You might know me from my Instagram videos of Julius. I've been teaching Photoshop full time for the past six years already. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create some really, really cool videos with the help of generative fill. So let's get right into it. The most important thing is that the video must be still. Otherwise, this technique doesn't really work. So we start by dragging our still video clip to Premiere. And we don't need to do anything else now in Premiere other than click here on the camera icon that says export frame. I click on this and then I just export a frame to a location. Once we have the screen grab, we can drag that into Photoshop. And the first thing we want to do is expand the grass a little. And to do that, you need to select the crop tool. Then while holding Alt or Option, you can rescale your canvas a little bit. And when you let this go, on the top here, there is an option called Fill, and this should be a generative expand. You will also see this generation box here, but if you don't see this for some reason, just come up here to Window and click on Contextual Taskbar. And now, because we want to expand this with more grass, we will leave this blank and Photoshop will know that we only want to expand our existing image. Now, depending on the computer that you own, the generation process might be a bit slow, but just wait and be patient with it. And just like that, we now have three different generations always just pick the best one I think in this case it's the first one now I want to take this a step further and generate a forest so I will zoom out in the crop tool and I will expand my canvas and then I will just write here to the generation bar forest this gives us again three options and if you don't like any of the ones here just click on generate again now that I have found a forest that I like I will expand this scene even more and then I will just write forest here and we'll expand the forest. And just like that, we have expanded our forest. But I think it's a little bit too dark. So I will add a brightness and contrast layer here. And I will just increase the brightness and contrast a little bit. We also do need to mask this effect out from the middle for a more realistic look. Next, we're going to expand this even further. So again, in the crop tool, zoom out and expand the scene. And I will expand this to something like an island. But again, you can choose whatever you want. Now that we have generated the island, we have a little issue. This image is now tens of thousands of pixels wide and Premiere has a resolution limit. So we need to change our canvas size back to the full HD canvas that we had in the beginning. And you can do that by coming up here to image, then click on canvas size and just set it back to 1920 by 1080. Now we will rescale the layers and save a few frames. So hold shift, select all of the layers, Hit Ctrl T on the keyboard to select all of the layers and then zoom out and just scale down a lot. And then I will save this frame. And for the other frame, we're gonna scale this down even more so we can see the whole island. And now we're gonna also save this one as a frame. Now drag the first frame to Premiere and then put the video file above the frame. The idea here is to scale the video down and match it exactly with the position on the frame. And to do that, we need to come here to the blend mode and set this to difference. Then with the motion controls here, I can play around with the scale and I can try to match it exactly with how it is here on the frame. And for that, I need to zoom in a little bit and then I will just play around with the controls until I have positioned it correctly. Once you're done with the positioning, you can set the blending mode back to normal. And then you will click here on the pen tool and we will create a mask around our subject. So I will just click here to create a quick mask. In the mask settings, you can play around with the feather for a more realistic look. And now if I will play back the video, you can see that our video is incorporated perfectly into the frame. Another workflow is the exact same for the other frame. So I will just drag it in here. I will drag the video file above it. And again, I will set the blending mode to difference. I will scale this down. I will zoom in and then I will try to position it perfectly. To make the scene look a little bit more realistic, we can add fog here. So I will just drag a fog overlay. I will set this to screen and I will make it smaller and position it down here. I will then use the mask tool again to create a mask quickly around here. Then I will click here on the inverted button and I will just feather the mask. And just like that, we have moving fog. If I play this now over, you can see that we have fog rolling in. We'll add this also to the other side and the workflow is the exact same. To finish this off, select all the layers, right click and then choose nest and hit okay. Go to the beginning of the clip and in the effects controls, add a keyframe to scale, move the playhead a little bit and add a little bit of scale. Then move the keyframe to the end and now when you play it from the beginning, you have moving fog and nicely animated motion in your clip. So that is how you can expand still video clips with the help of generative fill and generative expand in Photoshop. I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching.